So I will be demonstrating um, the proper way to hold the flute and how to produce sound on the flute. So first thing is posture. You want to make sure that you're sitting at the edge of your chair, um, that you're um, looking straight ahead and that you have um, good posture, your shoulders are back and your chest is really opened up to get good air support. So then you want to take your hands and make two hand puppets. Your left hand puppet is going to talk towards you and your right hand puppet is going to talk away from you. And you're going to hold the flute like you're holding a giant sandwich. So next there's uh, three main contact points on the flute. There's the first one where the lip plate touches to your chin. The second one is where your index finger on your left hand supports the flute here. And it's going to kind of, uh, the flute's going to rest on your index finger um, kind of between this knuckle and this knuckle. It's going to kind of make a shelf. And then your third point of contact, which is your thumb on your right hand, is going to go um, support the flute on this side um, under where your index and your middle finger rest on the keys. Um, so then you're going to want to take your left thumb and place it on this key back here, um, making sure to support the flute with your index finger. And then you're going to want to take your index, your middle, and your ring finger. Place your index on this key right here where this pink sticker is, your middle finger where this yellow sticker is, and your ring finger where this green sticker is, and your pinky will just rest gently on where this blue sticker is right here. And then for your right hand, making sure that your thumb is supporting the underside of the flute, you're gonna take your index finger, place it on this pink sticker, your middle, place it on this orange sticker, and your ring, place it on this purple sticker, and your pinky on your right hand is going to rest on this key right here where the blue sticker is. And then there you have, you have the main contact points on your chin, on your index finger on your left hand, and on your thumb on your right hand. Now um, you want to make sure you have good posture, make sure that your chest is open, um, that you can, you know, support your breathing, um, make sure that your feet are flat on the ground, that you're sitting at the edge of your chair, and then you should be all set with the posture. You also don't want to make, uh, you also don't want your flute to be like really slanted towards the ground you want to hold it um pretty much parallel to the ground as straight as you can don't go up too high but kind of just find like that nice middle ground some people it's a little lower some it's a little bit higher but never higher that it's like um you know tilting downwards past your chin next up is embouchure and producing sound so first things first um, flute, uh, to produce sound, you have to blow warm air. So think about, you know, like when you've, uh, when you're in your car and it's cold outside and you want to draw pictures on the windows and you would huff like, and it would make, um, you know, the windows, uh, foggy so you could draw. So it's the same kind of breath, um, to make sure that, um, you're producing or that, that you're blowing the correct way, um, take your index finger place it right underneath your bottom lip and right on your chin, like that, and then blow. And you should feel the air wrapping around your finger and kind of going under your finger, and that is how you know you are blowing correctly. So again, so you should feel it not blow straight across, but you should kind of feel it curling under your finger like that. And then practice making noise on the head joint before you try to uh, play um, your first note on the flute. So just take your head joint and um, you're going to rest the lip plate, which is this part here, right underneath your bottom lip. And you don't want to, you don't want it to be like this or like that. You just want to find that, that middle ground. And some people, the lip plate will be um, held higher. Some people, it will be held lower. It all just depends on the size and shape of your lips and your chin. But generally, it will rest right below your bottom lip and against your chin. And that is, again, one of the contact points of the flute. And then um, just practice that breathing again with your index finger. 
you should feel it wrapping around. And then you're gonna take your hand and cover the end of the head joint and just blow. And um, it might take a few tries at first to get a note out, but once you do, just uh, keep practicing. And then um, also practice switching between low and high notes. And um, as you do that, you'll feel your embouchure muscles um, working to produce different um, tones on the head joint. So once you have um, sound production down on the head joint um, and you feel confident, you can try producing sound on the entire flute. And the first note um, that's an easy note to produce sound on is a low D natural. So it's going to be thumb, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then pinky. And then you're just going to take a deep breath and then blow. And then just practice um, long tones, you know, holding that note as long as you can um, in order to get your embouchure used to um, playing the flute. Um, so yeah, that is uh, pretty much the basics of uh, flute sound production and embouchure. So again, just to recap, um, three main uh, contact points, your um, chin slash lip, um, your index finger on the left, and your thumb on the right hand. Um, to make sure that you're uh, blowing correctly, the index finger trick. And if you have trouble um, producing sound on the flute itself, um, then I would go back to practicing on the head joint. And once you feel more confident with producing sound on the head joint alone, then you can try um, producing that low D on the flute.